Mac as guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, playing Dead Rising 4, and this is the zombie killing boosting method. This video will show you how to get around 36 or 37,000 kills per hour. And the reason we need to boost kills is because there's an achievement for getting 200,000 zombie kills, as well as a trial for full completion requiring 250,000. First things first, you're gonna need the Sling Rot Blueprint which can be found in Old Town on the steps of the church. And then you're also going to need the bottom row of skills in the brawling menu of your abilities. Now you're gonna actually need to make this vehicle combo. There's gonna be one easily placed directly in front of the church, and there's a second one on the highway behind us, which we can use as a backup if we get stuck. Form the combo and get in the sling rot. And now I'm going to show you the three part loop we're going to do over and over and over again. The first part of the loop consists of us going around the block in a perfect square. The second part of the loop involves us going on the inside streets. And the third part of the loop involves us going up and down the highway and then coming back to the front of the church where we will have to actually rebuild the combo car because we took a lot of damage. Now there's gonna be a lot of small things that I'll be noting during my runs, so please pay attention if you wanna be as efficient as possible. What we wanna do is get to the 75 combo and then use our special ability, which is the flames along the sides, and that'll kill a ton of enemies. Right now we're doing the first part of the loop, so you'll see me go around the block in a square. Now this method is definitely going to be the fastest way to get as many zombie kills as possible, as fast as possible, but it's not going to be the fastest way to level your character, as a zombie kill in a vehicle is only worth 2 points. You can get 10 points per kill if you're in an exosuit, but the amount of kills is definitely the bottleneck and not the amount of experience you need. One thing you'll definitely want to keep an eye on is your vehicle damage. And as you can see in the bottom left, you shouldn't be taking more than about 20 to 25% damage for each part of the loop you do. So we're going to do three parts of a giant loop, meaning we'll take about 60 to 80% of our damage. And that's why when you do the full three parts of the method, you'll be perfectly back at the beginning of the church with every Thing respawned available to rebuild the combo car and just keep going. Now you'll notice that during this second phase of the three phases there are going to be certain sections of the roads that are not that packed. The idea here is to not be using your flames during these sections as you're essentially wasting the thing that's getting you the most kills. Now we're beginning the third phase of our loop, and this one's actually going to be the most critical, as this is what allows everything to respawn back on the map, including the zombies and the combo cars, if we need them. We're going to be hitting up the highway behind us, and you'll see on my screen that a checkpoint just triggered. Directly in front of us, you'll also notice the tow truck and hearse, which is the combo car that we're using right now. If you find yourself stranded, here might be a good point to try to work to. When the checkpoint triggers on this bridge that connects the two areas, that means that all of the zombies in Old Town have now respawned. I like to run my loop all the way to the top of the bridge and then work my way back down. The timing of your special attack, aka the flames that come out the side, is incredibly important during this entire method, as that's what actually gets you the most kills by far, not actually running the zombies over. But once we make our way back down from the bridge, which was the third part of our giant loop, we now want to remake our combo car in order to have full health and continue the method repeatedly. The entire major loop consisting of all three phases takes exactly three minutes and it'll get just under 2,000 kills every time. I did this method multiple times in 10 minute segments and was always on pace for 36 to 37,000 kills per hour. This means that we can boost all 200,000 kills we need for the achievement in under 6 hours or all 250,000 kills we need for one of the trials in about 7 hours. You'll also get an additional achievement for 53,598 zombies as you see me attaining on screen. And I did notice that the counter in the bottom left hand corner of the screen was a little bit off, usually between 1 and 2% from what my achievement was actually tracking. And that's it guys, this is the fastest method to boost kills in Dead Rising 4. You'll probably need this method after you do everything else if you want to get that achievement or possibly trophy in the future out of the way. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if it was helpful. Share it with a friend if they also need some help. Special thanks to Drop That Artemis for supporting the show on Patreon. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.